The title is The Giveaway. This series of videos is for those Toastmasters who would like to go outside of the Toastmasters environment. Take that one big step. And it is a big step, or so it seems, until you've done it. And generally, once you've done it, you realise it's not as frightening as it might have seemed. I can recall when I went outside of Toastmasters for the first time, and I was present, pleasantly pleased with the results. It was far easier than I thought it would be. Many reasons for this. When you're in Toastmasters, in a club, the people know you, they are evaluating you, and they're listening not so much for the content of the speech, but how you deliver it, etc. Whereas when you're outside of Toastmasters, the audience is only interested in, in what you have to say. Of course, knowing how to say it, knowing all the skills of being able to deliver a presentation well, they are important. When I joined Toastmasters, and that was 50 years ago, it was 10 years before I actually went outside to an audience outside of the Toastmasters environment. And this was a requirement, because in those days, in order to progress, you had to go outside of Toastmasters. That was one of the requirements. Once you became a competent public speaker or a competent Toastmaster, CTM, as it used to be called many years ago, you then had to step up, if you wanted to, to become an ATM, Advanced Toastmaster. There were only three steps, CTM, ATM and DTM. DTM is the only one that's left, of course, the only title still left. But in the old days, to become an ATM, one of the requirements was that you had to go outside the Toastmasters environment and give five presentations to audiences outside of the Toastmasters environment and bring back evidence to show that you've done it. That has now been waived. To my way of thinking, it was a good requirement because it gave you the opportunity to find out what it's like to speak outside Toastmasters. Today, as we know, you can spend your whole life belonging to various Toastmaster clubs, going along to area contests, divisional contests, and even district contests, and never speak to an audience outside of Toastmasters. Personally, I think that's wrong. A wrong idea. The whole idea of Toastmasters is a teaching organisation to teach you so that you can go outside Toastmasters. And this series will give you an idea of what is required to do that. I hope that you will follow this series along. This is the first of a number. I don't know how many it will be, but I hope that every one of them will give you a hint on the differences between Toastmaster audiences and audiences outside of Toastmasters, venues, etc. All the things that I can think of that will help you to become a better speaker so that you can take your gifts, take your stories, take your beliefs outside of Toastmasters.